A lot of us were so excited for DLSS in Red Dead Redemption 2, this game needs some help running nicely, but we were pretty let down by some of the visual downgrades, especially this checkerboard rendering on the hair that you can see in this screenshot. Now I also felt like there were some visual upgrades. Look at the jacket textures here. Is it just me or does it look a little bit better with DLSS? But DLSS has some other drawbacks as well, including some image ghosting, things like that. However, in this video, we're going to look at not alternative versus DLSS quality. We're going to look at what if you just optimize the native settings instead of using DLSS, although we will also look at putting DLSS on that optimized image. We're going to have four different things that we compare here. You can use the chapters if you want to jump around, although if you watch through the whole scene, I will be talking and giving a lot of my thoughts on it as I go, although I'm very interested in your thoughts in the comments section because you guys might pick up on visual differences that I miss. The optimized settings I'm going to use here are based heavily on the uh, hardware unbox settings. These are the settings that I actually use. I originally did them based on Hardware Unboxed's two-part series on optimizing this game. I'll link those videos in my description somewhere. I think I may have changed one or two little things since then, but it's basically those. I'll give a screenshot of them maybe here in the conclusion or something. Anyway, let's get into the comparisons. Everything's done on an i5-9600K CPU, RTX 2070 GPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, NVMe SSD, and we're running at 1440p. Let's roll. Okay, let's start by taking a quick look at Ultra DLSS quality versus Ultra Native. Again, look at the checkerboard rendering on the hair, although I think some things are improved. I think the, the pot in the background there looks shinier. I think the, uh, um, you know, the textures on the jacket, as I mentioned before, look a little bit better. And as we step outside here, we'll start to see a wider difference in the frame rates, if you look at the current frame rate here. So uh, also though, look at the uh, power lines as we start moving through, through the streets here. I think we're gonna see a little more shimmering and uh, breaking up of the images, especially down this hallway. We'll see a little bit more on the uh, DLSS settings than on native. We don't need to sit here dwelling on these differences as I have tested this out before, but figured we should start here again just to get this in our heads. Let's look at Ultra DLSS now compared with optimized settings. All right, here we see the Ultra DLSS quality versus the optimized settings running at native. And this time we see a massive performance uh, win here for the optimized settings at native. Visually, we don't get the checkerboard rendering and a lot of things really look about the same. Honestly, my comparison here is very similar to my comparison versus the ultra settings at native. I'll let this run here a bit and we can look through the streets here. Again, with these settings turned down, I mean, there are some certain lighting things and, and, and whatnot that are turned down. But honestly, looking at the scene, it's hard to pick some of those out, but look at the power lines again. DLSS causing some breakup in those power lines. I think we're getting a pretty good image out of our optimized settings with a healthy, healthy lead in terms of performance. And once again, we're not getting the DLSS artifacting like the hair. I'm very interested what you guys think in the comments section about this particular comparison, the Ultra DLSS against the optimized settings running at native. Because for me, man, it's it's hard to see what settings have been turned down. Now, I think that, does the tree look a little sharper there uh, on the DLSS? There's, there's definitely a few differences. All right, why don't we now switch this over and take a look at ultra, uh, actually, uh, let's look at the, what the optimized settings at native look compared to ultra settings at native to see if we can actually spot what's been turned down. Okay, here we have the native ultra versus the optimized settings at native, and this really highlights how much performance gain you get from these optimized settings. And look at the visual differences. Honestly, it's hard even in a side-by-side -side to spot. I want some help from you guys in the comment section. What actually looks much worse to be worth the massive frame rate difference that we see here? This is quite the frame rate difference 
um, between Native Ultra and optimized settings. It is huge. Huge performance difference, tiny difference in visual quality. All right, so as you can see, our optimized settings don't really destroy our image quality too much at all. We'll let this play just a little bit longer to see if we can really spot anything. Oh, look, on native settings, you get a white horse on the carriage. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's weird how this benchmark, I wish that they used exactly the same thing every time. There's always a few small differences. Uh, between the benchmark runs. Okay, let's go ahead now and look at what if you turn DLSS uh, on the optimized settings and compare it to just running the optimized settings at native. Okay, so how much can we push the frame rate? You can actually see by my GPU, uh, GPU usage here that I'm getting a little bit more CPU bottlenecked due to the higher frame rates we're able to push with the optimized settings on DLSS quality. You can definitely still see the checkerboard rendering on the hair and all of that. So I feel like by using these settings, you can definitely really push that frame rate. If you're looking for maxing out your frame rate as far as your CPU can handle it, at least that's where I'm limited by my i5-9600K, it's looking like optimizing the settings and throwing some DLSS quality on there is there, but we're still seeing those same little issues with the hair, with the power lines here, and all of that. Look at the fence differences in that fence. I think a lot of things are just looking sharper at native. Overall for me on an RTX 2070 and playing the game at 1440p, even actually I really play at ultra wide, which is even more demanding. I've actually gone with the optimized settings at native. That's been my preference in the game. Even at ultra wide, I rarely dip below 60. And when I do, it stays in the mid 50s and on a variable refresh rate monitor, it's been very playable for me. If you're on an RTX 2060, which is the lowest GPU that supports DLSS, and you're running the game at 1440p, I could see maybe considering going with optimized settings DLSS quality, especially if you're trying to play at ultra wide or something like that. Um, but even then, while I don't have a 2060 to test, I'd be curious if you would be able to um, uh, just stick with the optimized settings without going to DLSS. Now, I could see you guys having a difference of opinion here. Like I said, there are even some little things that I think look sharper using DLSS. So again, let me know in the comments section which of these settings would you go with? Or do you use a whole different set of optimized settings? As usual, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you especially to people who hit that join button to help fund the channel. And I hope you all have an excellent day.